Okay, welcome. This is PCIM 2018. You're in the Infineon booth and you're with me, with Martin Schulz. The application we serve is EV charging. So EV charging is among the prominent uh, topics because that's the key to level electric mobility to the full. The demo you see right next to my left is a 30 kilowatt charger design. It consists of a three-phase Vienna rectifier to the input and as it is a great standard which covers about 80% of the designs around the world, LLC series connected output stage. So this is a very classic approach. It's a development that first started off in telecommunication service supply with two to three kilowatts, maybe some 10 years ago. And then automotive industry discovered you can upgrade this by using more powerful semiconductors and make a 15 kilowatt charger. If you can make a 15 kilowatt charger, you can use twice as much of the silicon and put in 30 kilowatts. And that what came up. And this one is equipped with silicon carbide with cutting edge uh, MOSFETs with IGBT5 to make a prominent approach into this section. This design is very widely spread, especially in Asia, especially China, and it features a lot of semiconductors necessarily mounted to heat sinks. And because the backside of the discrete packages is active, well, those packages need discrete heat sinks as well. Counting through, you'll find 48 devices on 14 different heat sinks, and you see it's a forced air cooled system. So all the air streams through it. And, well, keep in mind, we're trying to go electric to make a reduction of hazardous environment. Well, all the dirt will gather inside the design. How to improve? The improvement would be to have all the heat sinks on the outside of the design and have all power devices on a common heat sink. How to do? Well, isolated heat sinks and isolated power modules would be a solution. So, within this steel, the demo showcases all the precious components you would need to build a decent high power converter. From hardware security issues solved with uh, Optiga Trust to control issues solved using the XMC or even the Aurix multi-core processors. And of course, on the core of all of this, it's about power. Power and efficiency is important, so we upgrade this to silicon carbide as well. And on top of the list, today the most powerful half bridges or H bridges available can be built using 62 millimeters that we feature on both 3 milli ohm and 6 milli ohm. But coming back to the design you saw on the wall, it would be feasible to build this even on smaller packages like the EZs. The one you see top right is a single phase of a Vienna rectifier and the one you see in front of it is an H bridge. So three of those Vienna rectifier modules and two of those H bridges can be mounted on a common heatsink and then that are 60 kilowatt design. So this is how power density is about to grow in this. And as power is nothing without control, we can gladly help with offering dedicated gate drivers. So what, will it, what does it mean to have a charger that powers your car back up on a 300 kilowatt level? So yeah, it's a demo, so forgive me. No, this is not a 300 kilowatt plug. But once you plug in your car into a 300 kilowatt enabled charger, it will spice up your batteries and a standard battery that you know from the current designs features less than 50 kilowatts. So recharging something like a 24, 30 kilowatt hour battery on a 300 kilowatt power would mean, well, it's done in a matter of six minutes. If you're with the, with the guys that can afford a battery that has more than 100 kilowatt hours, then recharging on a 300 kilowatt hour, a 300 kilowatt level takes a quarter of an hour, maybe 20 minutes. But we're not talking on personal cars only. We're also talking about urban electric mobility, like buses, even coaches. And then battery capacity grows to 300 kilowatt hours. And recharging this on a 300 kilowatt level, well, takes an hour. During lunch break, the bus is re-equipped to go another 300 kilometers. Doesn't need to be that long, because we see first designs of buses that have symmetric battery packs and both allow being charged on a 300 kilowatt level. So if you're lucky and find a position to put your bus between two of those chargers and you can splice it up from both sides, well, that's charging on a six to 700 kilowatt levels. You see that charging tends to become a megawatt application if we talk about something like CAV, commercial and agricultural vehicles. But even that means your bus is ready to go another 400 kilometers after your lunch break. 
So thanks for paying attention to this exciting demo and this exciting application that is going to change our life and our mobility habits in the near future rapidly. Thank you so much.